guys. Today is a very special day. You're going to witness me losing my boxing virginity. Uh, I'm scared it might hurt. It's my first time. <laughs> uh, I hear that my arms are going to be dead. So, so uh, we'll see if afterwards if I can pick them up anymore. Here's a test right now. I'm going to pick them up. I have the strength to pick up my arms officially. So, we'll see. So, I feel like I'm going to die. I couldn't really record in there. We're going crazy, but... Uh, how are you guys feeling, Joe? Anyway, I was dead. That was a <laughs> we all look I, like we're dead. I ate pizza yeah. last night. That was not a good oh. idea. That was a terrible plan. I made him throw it up. Joven really disappeared for like <laughs> two minutes, and we're like, "Where is he?" And then he was like, "What were you doing, Joven?" Throwing up. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. I feel good. I want to go with you guys every chance I get. Yeah. yeah. My shirt is like, it's it, all it, sweat. Did you pee yourself? Yeah, I peed all you, over my you shirt. You really, really <laughs> missed the like toilet. Dark you crap. missed the toilet. Oh. <sighs> I'm dead. I'm going to go sleep. Actually, unfortunately, I have a gym that I scheduled today Dummy. with someone, and I have to go to that too, so That's I'm going to be nice. really dead. Well, that was a pretty crazy way to be woken up. Uh, I was literally in bed and at first the cats start freaking out and I was just like, what is that yelling? It's just like repetitive yelling and I was just like, at first I thought it was homeless people but then I was like, it's way too loud. So I look out my window and I see these like protest. I mean, you guys, you guys have seen these protesters and I'm just like, what are they protesting? I'm like, Chipotle? I'm like... And so I go down there, and actually I realize it's about animals, and I start talking with them, and basically um, it's, it's really kind of a cool thing what they're doing. I know a lot of people probably their first reaction was to roll their eyes or be like, stupid animal activist, blah, 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 and it's like, that's your opinion, that's great. Basically what they stand for is not... I mean, ideally, yes, they would love for everyone to not eat meat, but that's not what they're preaching. What they're preaching is that they they hope that everyone can be informed of the actuality of this industry. And I know a lot of people don't know because I feel like if you did know, then you probably wouldn't be eating meat. Um, and it's just, it's hard because I know because, you know, a year and a half ago, I, I ate meat and I grew up eating meat and it's just how we're raised and it's a way of life. But in actuality, it is a very, very awful industry and um, I'm with them. I do wish that everyone was informed and everyone knew. And if you know and you still want to eat meat, like, all on you. That's your life. That's your choice as a person. But... Um, I really do strongly think that if the majority of people wholeheartedly understood what was happening, they would not want to take part in it. And um, I know a lot of people have asked us, oh, why don't you guys eat meat? And we never really talk about it because I don't want to, to like rub anyone the wrong way. I don't want to come off as pushy. I don't want anyone to make anyone feel uncomfortable or make anyone feel like they need to justify themselves to me you can do whatever you want you can live any way you want but all i'm saying is i think at the very least that everyone should be informed about what they're contributing to i know for the longest time i was one of those people that said i know it's bad but i don't want to watch those videos i don't want to watch those videos because i've always been an animal lover and not just an animal lover but an extreme animal lover and it's hard for me. Like, I like leather jackets and I like leather furniture and it's just kind of a lifestyle, you know, and I, I get that. But then there was one day where I just woke up and I randomly said, you know what, I want to watch that video. I want to see what everyone's talking about. So I watched this video by Paul McCartney, one of the Beatles, called If Slaughterhouses Had Glass Walls. And if I can remember correctly, it's not overly graphic. You're not going to throw up. It, it's just reality, and I'm going to link it below. It's actually a very popular video on YouTube, um, so if you want to watch it, I feel like I'm like convert, trying to convert a religion right now or like a cult. Um, don't think you have to by any means, but I think that all change starts with knowledge and 
I it's it's the hope for the future for me is that every single person realizes what they're contributing to and either they choose to contribute or they choose not to contribute um but yeah okay this is too long I feel like such a douche wearing sunglasses inside but I swear I'm just, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be walking outside in a second um and it's a lot more effort than it's worth it to do that take them off. Um, I just got a new pair of pants and they have like one of those fake rips on it. Is that out of style now? I don't know if it's out of style. It's not now, the inch, but um, I used to tell myself when that first style first started um, hitting the streets, as I would say back then. I don't know when that was. When was, when did they start? I don't know. Anyway, I was like, I'm never gonna buy a pair of pants that looks like that. It just looks like you had a, like a homeless guy. Oh God, it's really loud in here. That was really awkward. Oh shit, oh shit, this light's almost so so Anyway, I was telling myself I would never buy a pair of those pants because it just looked like you paid like some some little, some really dirty guy to just wear the pants and lay all over the street and stuff. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm gonna get some food. Okay, I totally realize that I shouldn't be vlogging this, but... I just went and watched the video again because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too bad before I told you guys to watch it. And it's just, I haven't watched it in a really long time, but watching it, even though I don't even eat meat, just makes me feel so fucking sad. <laughs> I probably look like fucking Kim Kardashian right now, like so stupid, but you guys don't understand how bad it is and it's just so fucked up that we do this and that people don't understand what's happening and I just want more than anything like if I could have one wish of life even if it meant like after my wish I had to live on the streets for the rest of my life I would wish to go into every single slaughterhouse and free all of those animals and give them love because it just is just so heartbreaking to me. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really, I don't know why I'm filming this. I just want to build awareness more than anything and I guess I've kind of realized in a way that even if I can inform you know a thousand people and maybe make some people dislike me in the process that it's worth it to me Anthony's probably gonna disagree and not want me to include this in the video but I'm just so I feel so strongly about this and I want I really want to be part of the change in the world so Please don't hate me. I, I love you guys. And even if you still choose to eat meat, I will still love you. Um, it's just I want everyone to understand. So I haven't eaten lunch yet. And it's already 6 o'clock. And here it is. I'm so excited. This um, this brown stuff here is called Satan, which is really funny. I'm pretty sure they went to call it Satan. And then they chickened out last second. Like, um... Well, uh, we'll make the A and E, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's so good. Why am I looking at it? Why am I not eating it? It's the anticipation. I'm just going to stare at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Pookie, come on, you little lazy fuck. It's time to get out of bed. Oh, you want to brush your teeth? You want to brush your teeth, girl? Open up. Open up, girl. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Look at this silly little cat. <laughs> baby, baby, what in the fuck are you doing? You love that, huh? Ooh, a little downtown stroll. For it looks magical. Dinner. I know, it is really cute. I like this, this I like little uh, one civilized spot of downtown. I like the blue wall right here. <laughs> yeah. We found this really romantic place to eat. It's so romantic. It's got a candle. It's got a candle. Now you can. Here, by candlelight. Oh man, I breathed on our only source of light. And now we have no more candle. <laughs> They're gonna see you picking your teeth. Oh my god, a movie's coming on right now. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. Honestly, I don't know what it is. 
A one thirty. It's at one thirty. Thing. Whoa, this camera's so blurt. There we oh, go. Oh, anywhere in the mid-80s. Okay. Um, I really don't know. Wedding singer. I still don't know. I still do not know. Um, what is this thing? Universal. It's not, it's not narrowing it down at all. It's definitely a mid-80s film. Robert Simmons. I don't even know who that is. Do you know who that Billy. is? Oh, it's half baked. It is. It's half baked. Oh, I've never seen that. Uh, I think I saw a part of it. Dave Chappelle's in it. What the fuck? Okay, now I gotta watch this. We're gonna watch this now. I'm gonna fall asleep really soon. It's already one, and I woke up at five thirty to go boxing, and then I went to the gym. Um, I'm really surprised I'm not passed out right now, and I fall asleep so easily. Are you proud of me, babe? Thanks. Pip, I will decapitate you if you try to go So Pip there. keeps stealing all of Buki's food, and she's not getting anything. She didn't have five little nibbles. They didn't Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Since I, my mustache grows in super fast, and since I had to do a baby face shave, my mustache just looks like it's, I just, looks like I just got a mustache. You like it? 